Hey guys, I am going to crochet a berry hat today for 0 to 3 months old babies and I will be using a size edge, number 5 millimeter crochet hook and a number 4 medium worsted weight yarn so okay if you are ready let's begin okay guys to begin make a magic ring wrap around yarn twice on your finger and make a chain one and make eight single crochet into the ring this chain one is not included okay so make eight single crochet one two three four five six seven eight now we are going to close the ring we are going to pull the inside strand this is the inside this is the outside so we'll, we are going to pull this halfway from left to right and now we are going to pull the tail nice and tight now the ring is secured and we are going to join it with slip stitch into the beginning single so one two three four five six seven eight this is the beginning single we are going to join it with slip stitch there and the tail i am going to crochet along but it's it is up to you if you want to crochet along or just leave it there and wave later okay but i am going to crochet it along so make a chain one and make a puff stitch into the same stitch as joining pull up yarn one more time pull up yarn so we have five loops two four five and then pull through then chain one we are going we are going to make one more time into the same stitch one two two four five chain one now we are going to make two puff stitch and each stitches around with a total of 16 puff stitch. One, two, chain one, one, two, chain one. Now I have four. one two chain one one two chain one i have six one two chain one one two chain one I have eight, one, two, chain one, one, two, chain one. I have ten, one, two, oops, one, two, three, four, five. Pull through chain one, one, two, pull through chain one, twelve, one, two, chain one, one, two, chain one, fourteen, two more. One, two, chain one, one, two, chain one. I have sixteen. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. 
we have 16 pop stitch and 16 chain one spaces okay guys now for the third round we are going to join it with slip stitch on top of the first pop stitch join it with slip stitch there and then slip stitch into the chain one space and make a chain one now we are going to make a pop stitch into the same same space one two chain one and into the next chain one space we are going to make two pop stitch with chain one in between two chain one one more one two chain one right guys and make a one pop stitch into the next space one two chain one and two puff stitch into the next space with chain one in between one two chain one one more one two chain one all right guys repeat this around using the chain one spaces repeat this around with one puff stitch chain one and then two puff stitch into the next space with chain one in between go ahead and repeat this around and i will meet you for the joining okay guys we should have 24 pop stitch around and 24 chain one space one two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four you should have a total of 24 pop stitch around and 24 chain one space now we are going to join it with slip stitch on top of the pop stitch join it with slip stitch and then slip stitch into the next space now we are going to do the beginning pop stitch Make a chain one, one, two, and then chain one. Into the next space, we are going to make one pop stitch, one, two, chain one, and make two pop stitch into the next space one two chain one one two chain one all right guys now one pop stitch and each of the next two chain one space with chain one in between one two chain one one two chain one and then two puff stitch with chain one in between into the next space one two chain one one more one two chain one Alright guys, repeat this around. One pop stitch, chain one. And one pop stitch, chain one. One pop stitch, chain one. One pop stitch into in the same space and chain one. Go ahead and repeat this around and I will make it for the joining. Alright, I finished my round and you should have 32 puffs and 32 chain one space. Now join it with slip stitch on top of the first pop stitch and then slip stitch into the next chain one space and into the same space we are going to make 
puff stitch chain one puff stitch and chain one one two chain one one more time one two chain one now we have the increase and into the next seven chain one spaces one two three four five six seven we are going to make one puff stitch in each spaces with chain one in between one two chain one puff stitch into the next chain one puff stitch into the next Ch chain one puff stitch into the next chain one one two three four five two more one chain one chain one let's count one two three four five six seven okay now i have seven and into the next space we are going to make two pop stitch with chain one in between all right one two all right guys now make a make a puff stitch again in each of the seven spaces like before one two three four five six seven two four six seven okay and then into the next space we are going to do the increase chain one one more into the same space all right guys now repeat this around with one pop stitch chain one in each of the next seven and then increase and then one pop stitch in each of the next seven and then i will meet you for the joining okay i finished my round and you should have 36 pop stitch and 36 chain one spaces right now join it with slip stitch on top of the beginning pop stitch and then slip stitch into the first chain one space and work for beginning pop stitch chain one and one more pop stitch into the same space chain one now we have the increase and we are going to make one we're going to make one pop stitch in each of the next eight spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to make one pop stitch in each of the next eight spaces with chain one in between and then increase into the next. Chain one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now we are going to do the increase here into the next chain one space. one two and make one pop stitch in each of the next eight spaces with chain one in between again one two three four five six seven eight okay and then we're going to make an increase into the next chain space. Right guys, now repeat this around. Repeat this around and I will meet you for the joining. Okay, I finished my round and you should have 40 puff stitches and then 40 chain 1 spaces. Now, join it with slip stitch on top of the beginning pop stitch. And slip stitch into the next chain 1 space. And make a chain 1. Now, for the round 7, 8, and 9. Yeah, for the round 7, 8, and 9, we are going to make one pop stitch and each spaces with chain 1 in between, alright? one two chain one go ahead and continue your round with one pop stitch and chain one in between of each pop stitches Go ahead guys and finish your round and I will meet you for the next round. Alright guys, I finished my 7, 8, and 9 rounds. And I have 40 pop stitch around. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. Now, join it with slip stitch on top of the beginning top stitch. And then slip stitch into the next chain 1 space. And make a beginning puff. 1, 2, chain 1. And make pop stitch one pop stitch in each of the next two spaces with chain one in between one two 
chain one one two chain one right guys now we are going to do the decrease we are going to use this um two spaces to make a decrease one two and then we we are going to the next space one two and we should have two four six eight nine we have nine loops on hook now pull through all chain one now we have the decrease okay and we're going to make one puff stitch with chain one in between into the next three spaces one two three one two chain one one two chain one one more one two chain one right guys now we're going to do a decrease into the next two spaces one two one two chain one all right okay repeat this around with um one pop stitch in each of the next three spaces with chain one in between and then decrease into the next two chain chain one space using the two chain one space make a decrease and then one pop stitch in each of the next three with chain one in between go ahead and finish your round and i will meet you for the joining okay i finished my round and i have 32 puff stitches around and join it with slip stitch on top of the beginning puff stitch and we are going to make two single and each chain one spaces around okay slip stitch into the first space chain one two single into the same space and make two single crochet in each spaces around go ahead and complete your two single crochet in each spaces and i will meet you for the joining go ahead guys and finish your round and i will meet you for the joining all right guys i finished my round and i have 64 single crochet in total now join it with slip stitch on top of the beginning single and make a chain two and half double crochet in each stitches around make one half double crochet in each stitches around guys Go ahead and complete your half double crochet around and I will meet you for the joining. Alright guys, I finished my half double crochet around. And now for the next round, join it with slip stitch on top of the beginning chain. And then chain 1, single crochet into the same stitch as joining. Single crochet into the next 2 stitches. 1, 2, now we have 3 single crochet and we are going to do a single decrease using these two stitches we're going to decrease right and then single crochet into the next three and then decrease one single crochet in each of the next three and then decrease 
one single into the next three and then decrease go ahead guys and continue this around with one single in each of one single crochet in each of the next three and then decrease one single in each of the next three decrease go ahead and continue your round finish your round and i will meet you for the next round Alright guys, I finished my round and I have 52 single crochet around. And now for the next round, we are going to make a chain one and then make a slip stitch in each stitches around. One, two, go ahead and slip stitch in each stitches around and I will meet you for the joining. okay guys I finished my slip stitch around and now to join join it with slip stitch into the front loop of the slip stitch okay so this is the slip stitch this is the the back of the slip stitch and this is the front loop of the slip stitch we're going to use the front loop okay slip stitch into the first front loop and then make a chain three and slip stitch into the next chain three slip stitch into the next front loop chain three slip stitch into the next front loop chain three go ahead and continue this around making chain 3 slip stitch into the next front loop chain 3 and slip stitch into the next front loop repeat this around and i will meet you for the joining okay guys i finished my ruffle around and now to, to join make a chain 3 for the last time and then join it with slip stitch into the same into the same stitch as the last um as the first chain three okay at the bottom of the chain three slip stitch there and then we can close the work here I need my scissor okay we can cut the yarn and then finish our work here and then this is how the the beret look like okay okay guys you can add a pom-pom also if you want to just get a pom-pom color of your choice and then put it on top at the very top of the the hat put it there join it there or you can also use your your yarn to to make a pom-pom and okay this fits from um, newborn to three months old babies and don't forget to wave the tail of your work right guys for this hat you also can use a two color of yarn which is you can use the the main color for the hat and then change the color into the second color change change from the beginning of the brim this this is where the beginning of the brim okay the two two single crochet in each spaces you can start the brim there and yeah use the main color for the hat and then second color for the brim and you can switch the main color in for the um ruffle it's up to you guys it's up to you if you wanna use a uh, two color for this hat or if you wanna leave it in one color only that's fine and okay i will add a pom pom on mine and 
yeah thank you for joining me guys we finished another project and see you again for the next video thank you bye bye